I'm Brenda Dennehy. I'm Julie Haynes. And, and this, this is Left on Red. Hi everyone and welcome back to Left on Red, the podcast where no topic is off limits and we get through a healthy dose of girl talk. It's like a virtual coffee date with your besties. Spot on Jewel, each week we'll dive deep into a juicy topic that's bound to start discussions and fill up our DMs. And we've got your back when it comes to recommendations. It could be makeup, movies, fashion or food. We'll fill you in what we've loved and maybe didn't love this week. Before we wrap things up, we leave you with a motivational quote to carry with you into the week ahead. It might be nonsense, but we will try. Because let's face it, we all need a little extra boost sometimes. Ready to go? Let's crack on. Oh my god, long time no chat, Jewel. This is very straight. I'm a bit nervous, you. I'm very nervous. Very nervous. I, and do you know what? I'm not, my second cup of coffee and I'm just reading everything. Like, I'm very fucking nervous. I'm built a practice. Yeah. But I'm so happy to be back. Me too. Me uh, too. And we're on air in care. On air in care. Bring it on. Well, yeah. s- we haven't actually. <laughs> 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 we actually haven't done one since January So we're now in March For anyone who is wondering What the hell is going on How have you been? How is tricks? What's your news? What's your shka? Same old ding dong January I just thought was Went so quick And so did February Did February even happen? I can't believe we're in March already Yeah I think January took a while And then February was just like gone And then we're into March Yeah absolutely yeah yeah So anyways I started a diet Go on My 550 diet of this year I was um, going to say my 550 calories I'm starving <laughs> Feeding up on the road somewhere <laughs> No uh, but I am calorie counting though I'm doing it myself. I actually downloaded a new app. I was using my fitness pal all the time and I downloaded an app called, what's it called? I'm getting two seconds and I'll check. Calorie Counter. Good. Very good. And do you know what now? I started last Wednesday. So I'm going to weigh myself every Wednesday morning. So I weighed myself yesterday morning and I was down four pounds. It's brilliant. Yeah, the first week. Yeah. But I always feel the first week you're always down way more because, do you know, it's like, fl- like li- fluid, liquid, what do you say? Water retention. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I think it is anyway. <laughs> so like, I peed an awful lot of it out of me, yeah. like, do you know, and I was drinking gallons of water. Would you make sure we were gone for the pee before you'd weigh yourself? Oh, yeah. Do you weigh yourself naked? No. Do you not? My pyjamas. Just jammies. Just pyjamas. Just like, what are they? <laughs> uh, would you, you wouldn't wear shoes or anything like that? No shoes. I take off my dress and go. So I get up in the morning. Like yesterday morning, for yeah. example, got up, did my morning wee, went yeah. downstairs, got out my weighing scales, took off my dress and go. Mm-hmm. Do you call dress gown or house coat? Dress and go. Yes, um, took off my dress and go because that's quite heavy and just weighed myself. Then in my pyjamas, down yeah. four pound. I take everything off then. I do it very rarely. Well, I, mine is up in my kitchen because I don't want it in my bedroom or anything like that or in the toilet because it's out of sight. I do it very rarely. But you see, my neighbours can see me naked across the way but yeah. I just don't care and just yeah, wait. Yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I just yeah. take it all off. Everything's off. And you, you don't wear yourself that much though, do you? No, very rarely. I mean, I'd nearly take out the hair extensions just to get a few <laughs> yeah, pounds off. I I, everything comes off. But what for me annoys me, right? Do you know if I was ever a few pounds? I'd do it very rarely. The thing is... I, I'd see that then and I wouldn't be like oh you're going to have to remind yourself here now mm. I actually then would go fuck this and I'd be buying I'd be like buying all chocolate and everything the rest of the day I go the opposite way whereas you lose weight then you don't want to yeah you know what I mean motivate you I'm the same right so yesterday if I was off a pound I'd be oh, like fuck this this calorie count is not working <laughs> at all I'd go for a breakfast roll yeah. or something like that like I'd give up yes once when I seen four pound then I was ready for a road for another week. I can't wait now already for next Wednesday to weigh myself in again, do you know? And I stayed with you last night and you have you weren't eating anything, like you weren't eating chocolates, you weren't doing this, you weren't doing that, and you have been very I hate saying good, it's like as if you're a dog or something, but you've been on plan. I have, I've been on plan and like I can eat what I want with the calorie counting, like, but you just have to notice it and just add up the calories as you go. Do you know? It's actually really, really easy. This is my favourite one I've ever been on. And I have been on Every day at Nudge Mankind. You've been on everyone. I've been on them all. Like, I can only run a fucking Slimming World's class at this yeah. stage. Like, do you know? And do you know when you kind of think about Slimming World and all that? Like, all those classes, they are good. But even going up there to get weighed in front of people, I'd find that kind of hard. I love it then. Would you love that then? Because when I open the fridge to get the big chocolate bar, I think so of your, the people up there. Like, oh, Jesus Christ, yeah. I can't. I have to be down. Not for me. Yeah. Because Mary and Joan be up there. They're like, they're judging me now. I'll be off next week in the class. So I better not eat that now at all. And you see, now I've never been right. And that's not as in, oh, I didn't have to go because mm. I was overweight before, but I did it, lost it myself, right? Do you, when you've gone the odd time, would they be kind of like, you're up for 
or would they be kind of like you're up four look it'll be okay but would they do it as in in a nice way they'd be like look you're up four you obviously yeah. had a bad week whatever head down over the rest of the yeah. week and you'll be grand you know never they're never judged or anything like that now I will say that about them but I found them brilliant only because they motivated yeah. me to stay on plan yeah it's harder yeah. when you're doing it at home because you're like sure who cares nobody's gonna know if I'm off two pound I'm do you know that kind of way yeah whilst um, I actually didn't mind going up there and getting weighed but then I just leave and then come here you had the tour the sitting room I had the tour the sitting room I did and For... I broke my fucking saddle <laughs> <laughs> so anyone who didn't see your story I watched Julie's story and whenever I'd see you do something with fitness I just giggle you she had, she was up on her cycling bike in her sitting room and the saddle I thought it was Look, I didn't know what was going on. That was some dodgy vibrator or something on the bike with you, but she'd up tour the sitting room. But you were on the cycling bike and all. Yeah, once. Once since I got it. So, <laughs> and a new saddle. Broke the fucking saddle, sat on it, broke it. <laughs> Sean I like, Kelly. I was like, no, I'll keep going here now, right? Tried, nah, couldn't. But come here, I was only saying to you last night. I was only on it for about 10 minutes. Yeah. And you know, on the monitor yoke, I said I was down 50 calories. Yeah. That I couldn't get over. I was like, this is broken. No. But you said, no, you no, wouldn't be. With spinning the calories, you would, I'd probably burn more cycling than running. Or walking. You push yourself. Oh, yeah. sure, walking, you'd hardly burn I'd, no calories. Because I have a treadmill as well, and I'd be on the treadmill for nearly 20 minutes before I see 50 calories is gone. You'd have to really be running on the treadmill. Oh, so I I, not trying to get an excuse not to talk about running, but anyway. Yeah, but actually talking about your running, so you've done a half marathon. It's only a half. It's only half. It's only half. No, but years ago, I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, I did a half marathon last week because it was my meant to be a long run of the week because I have a long run every week. So I did a half marathon. But you know what? It was around the Olympic Stadium in mm. London, right? Where West Ham play as well. No, I thought I was going to be like more far, like going up and down. Like I was, it was in it and everything. We only yeah. tiny got into a tiny bit of it. But you know what? There were so many fucking hills at one stage. I just did, fuck this. You know, I saw another hill and yeah. I just, I walked out of temper for a few minutes, you know. Are you allowed to walk? Oh, you can do whatever you want. Okay. You can crawl if you want. Okay. But I was just like another hill. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I wanted someone to agree with me going, yeah, another hill. And they all just ran past me. You know, I was looking for someone to have pity on me. But I tell you something that happened, right? I never really need to go to the toilet. No, I do. I'm Look, I always need to go for a wee, right? But when you're training for a you really need to try not to go to the toilet, right? In New York, I was trying not to go, but mile 16, I had to go. It was only a wee. But this one then, anyway, there was no toilets anywhere. I was seeing people go off to bushes and everything, right? And it's grand for men, because they can just pull all the, the all Mickey out and yeah, go yeah, anywhere. Yeah, you know? yeah. But us, we just stoop down. And, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's an ordeal. It is, yeah. But mile, I was like, a mile five, I could feel it coming on. I was like, what's going on here? Wings. Look. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't doing a Sanyo Sullivan knowing it, right? Why are you turtle necking on I my wasn't floor? bad. But I was like, I need to go to the toilet here. This shouldn't be happening. My late girl, there was no toilets until my late more than half. No, I had to go to the toilet, which I was actually shocked over. I was like, this can't be happening, the real thing. You hardly went behind the bush. No, I went into a cubicle. Oh. I wouldn't go behind the bush because I would have wiped myself with like uh, leaves, leaves or something. Doggy leaves. leaves. Like he was in the jungle, yeah. Oh no But it was grand But I didn't mind then Because I said, like, you know what no, I That just, would have set you back then though It did set me up But you know what I was after meeting the, Doing that hill And I was like I'm just going to stay here for a second You were nearly over I don't at care that stage, I still like... did it under two hours Which was my goal a half But I couldn't believe under it two hours. Yeah half mar- Ah that's not good That's alright like I can't, I can't run off the fucking stairs Run your fair fucking I know page, but like. yeah But the Yeah so with the running in the toilet I'll oh, come here top With the fucking toilets so On our way up here Then to care right I'd friend in the car And I was bursting To go to the toilet And I says Wait in the car, you. I'll run into being a leaf. I'll order a freaking coffee, even though I didn't even want the leaves. coffee. Leaves Sorry. again. Go on. Even though I didn't want the coffee, but I was like, I'll order the coffee. That way, then I'd be able to use the toilet. So I ordered the coffee and I said, I'm just running there now to the bathroom. Do you know, to leave her yeah. no, like. So I went in and tried to open the door. There was somebody in there. I was a grand, so I stood there. Next thing, your one called me for the coffee and I was like, just leave it there and wait for the bathroom. And I got all myself, I got all confused. So your man came out and I went in and because of all the rigmarole, telling her to watch the coffee whilst I go for a wee wee, whatever, I never locked the door. So I went for a wee wee and I stood up and I was right. w- wiping my hoo ha. <laughs> what kind of a language is this? <sighs> and next time the door fucking opened oh right? no as mid that wife of myself and there's a man standing <laughs> there in a red coat and I'm like like picture the scene now the the position I'm in and I was like oh that's what I said oh and he goes oh back at me I close the door but you know the latch <laughs> yeah. the lock <laughs> that was closed but it I like so when it hit off the frame of the door, the door like opened oh. again. So he's back because your pants down. Still down. 
got me act. Cause I'm like, you know now you're all kind of huddled where over. The, where was the tissue then? In my hand. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. And your man, the red coat, the brightest red coat I ever in my life seen. And he's back again because the door <laughs> reopened. Open, and I was like, oh. <laughs> then my pants are around my ankles. I had to walk over to the door <laughs> to try to close it. While your man is still standing there in shock. He was shocked. I was like, I like, am here. powerful. Did you, you, did he see the koozie like the whole thing? He's seen. My pants was down with the ankles. I had to walk towards him to close the fucking door. Please tell me at least you'd done the job down there. That is like the fucking curb in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I swear to God. I oh, was like, no. get me out of this Do you know place. the worst thing of that is, do you know the, with the show in Limerick, we did Mr. and Mrs. and we said, who's got worse hip, 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 hair, who's hair, hairier? Yeah, yeah. And I put up you and you said me. And you're telling me, my bush isn't like that girl. I don't have a bush. Don't you? No. Do you shave everything? I'd Do you wax? getting rid of that girl, yeah. Do you get that I wax? I couldn't be having that at all, yeah. Do you get that wax? Oh, yeah, I couldn't be having that at all, girl. Girl, I got a wax one time. Oh, I tell no. you what to stop. I couldn't no. deal with the fucking pain. Don't go to get the all, like, uh, mo- like what they go, some people go to extremes. Oh no, they have to get that done. Forget it, girl. You can't be seeing a bush like that going around. So would you get a wax every month, like every yeah, couple of weeks? Yeah, you'd have to, yeah. <clears throat> no, I'd shave it. Sh- oh Cold no, I wouldn't pain. go near the shaving down there either because it grows back even more. Do oh. you ever shave your moustache for the crack? No? Years ago, yeah. Yeah, years ago, I did that too, yeah, and they're like that. But I get a wax now. You don't have any tash now? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not that you ever did. No. Do you ever know, did you ever put on your makeup over your makeup? Do you know if you were trying to get, and you'd oh, look, it would look like a tash. Bro- all day, yeah. the powder sticks yeah. to the hair. <laughs> but you know what I have lately? I have whiskers on my chin and everything. Do you? And there's one, all right? And it comes out, I have like a spot, and one just grows over the spot, and it's like a hard hair. Yeah. And I've been nearly playing with a drink with the car. <laughs> but I do, I start shaving, and I do the dermal razor. Yeah. I love that thing. Do you ever use that? No, I didn't use that. Too fancy for me. Wow. Oh, it's only about two euro on boots. Oh, is it? It's Oh, it things. sounded fancy. Yeah, no, it's very good. And nearly like um, exfoliates your face as well. Your makeup goes on lovely after Oh, it. God, I have to try that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. Um, I actually, um, as well, this is last time. Do you know what I was telling you about jewellery duty? And I was so excited. Mm-hmm. So excited. Anyway, I was actually in the toilet when they rang and I answered the phone. Um... And then you're, she rang me, oh, this is blah, 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 from jewellery duty. And I was like, oh, great. Like, we're on for it. Delighted with life. Thinking I'm going go to go on to the equivalent of the criminal court in London. I can't do it now. Right. I can't do it. I was like, I've no criminal record. Yeah. So you can't do it because you used to be in the country for five years. Ah. And I goes, oh, hold on. Let me think, actually. How many is it now? Well, she's like, you wrote down two. And I was telling <laughs> yeah, you where yeah. goes, oh, yeah. So I can't do it. Ah. I know. Got it. But, you know, I was thinking about it. Then after, I was going to have to take so many days off work. And like I wouldn't be paid for all of them because some of them aren't contracted, do you know? Okay, yeah, I got you. But like you, for yeah. the drama, I was going to look, I f- just... And you could have got a really good case. A like. really good case. If I find out what case is now and some celebrity big one and I wasn't there, I'd be raging. Oh, wouldn't you just? I'll be raging. It's actually meant to be a very good show called The Jury on Channel 4. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's meant to be so good. So any recommendations? Yeah, actually, do you know when I stayed at you last night? Mm. I must say I couldn't get over this. I mean, do you, I, when I stay at Julie's, I go into her bed. Actually, last night... You've never had sex in that bed, have you? You haven't even no. christened it. No. I thank God. But Julie goes into the twins' room. And I thought it was actually a bed bed. Like, I thought there was the bunk beds within Aaron Rose and another bed. But she goes into a bunk bed for me. Yeah, of course. That's so cute. But I want to sleep in the bunk bed next. But then I went out to the toilet, right? <laughs> Just to make a wee. You would have... It was a wee, okay? And um, I said... <laughs> I went out I was like I saw the light on at the toilet are you in there I said quarter past five now all I could hear out in the landing are you in there I was like in fucking where I'm in bed <laughs> why'd you have the light on like, she might yeah. tell him why you have the light on because I'm scared <laughs> <laughs> I actually can't get over that I can't get over you sleep in the dark I sleep with an eye mask and all in yeah plugs. no no I mean there could be a UFO outside my window and I wouldn't you hear, hear it or see it but you wear plugs in and all yeah. oh no like oh, I bear plugs in on my own in London, but in London, if whenever you come over and stay, you probably won't be able to sleep a lot because you hear a plane going over every five minutes. At the start when I moved over, I was like, "Oh my god, yeah. what's going on?" Because I'm he near you're in so many airports. Yeah, yeah. No, you don't even notice anymore. But I wear them. I've been wearing plugs for years and an eye mask. And I couldn't. But no, I don't sleep with the light on in the bedroom. So what I do is I put the bathroom light on and I leave the two doors. Open. I sleep yeah. with my door, yeah, the door wide open, open as, as well. well. Yeah, wide open. Eat the room that the I did in last door, night. Like, yeah. Oh, your, my bedroom. Yeah. Like, oh, I have that door wide but open. But then, do you know what I find funny about you then, right? You'll be watching 
the horror stuff like they're watching stuff about Donald Trump and Piers Morgan this morning and then you're watching crime series but you can't watch the stuff downstairs no because I'm scared downstairs because I hear all like weird noises yeah, downstairs yeah. so what I do is I, lo- I put the kids to bed go downstairs lock up all my downstairs put, put up all the alarms like put on all the all the alarms my one alarm <laughs> and lock the doors lock all the windows and then I run upstairs and I leave the bathroom light on <laughs> <laughs> and then I put on the telly and I watch like like your one word when the husband knows or something yeah, like, and I'd be yeah. weak for that now don't watch horror I couldn't watch yeah. a ghost no or anything like that but I love all the murder documentaries yeah love all that but you won't watch them downstairs won't watch them downstairs when I'm lying in bed and watch them <laughs> why do you think some man's gonna come up to the window or something yeah, do you know what? I also listen to like crime um, podcasts, you know? Yeah, yeah. But I put them into my ears whilst I'm cleaning upstairs. And sometimes like from the corner of my eye, I'd be like, fuck, there's something yeah. behind me. You're getting off fucking fright. Yeah, yeah. Would, yeah. So now I'm like, Julie, how to get out? Like listen to something like upbeat or yeah. do you know, like, yeah. like us. But yeah. like, nah, Julie, listening to all these crime documentaries. Yeah, uh, podcasts. I am. Um, when someone was ringing the bell on my flat over in London one night in the middle of the night at three o'clock and I was literally went under the blankets scared. I'd be so scared. But where was I going with the blankets? I know. Like, like, come here, yeah, and like, why is it all, why is it always a man? It's always a man trying to get you, or the man in the white van. Yeah, the man, the boogeyman. The white. Do the you boogeyman. threaten the boogeyman to the the twins? No. No. What no. you? Oh, you the guards? No. I have fucking me. <laughs> say the guards as well, though, would you? No, I don't say the guards at all. Do you not say the guards? I'd be just nervous in case they'd fear, fear the guards. The guards. Yeah. There is an app. I told you that that you pretend for you ring the cops. And they're taking you to kiddie prison That's and all right that. Yeah I heard of that I would tr- I would say Santa Claus now yeah, From like Santa October Lincoln. onwards And then after December I'd be like These Easter Bunny's listening Yeah these Do you know yeah. I, The Tooth Fairy Yeah like, All that yeah. And they, they sh- Or the teacher My new one is a teacher Kind of alright yeah oh, I tell him the teacher Now in the morning They'd die They'd love the teacher Yeah they, See they don't Disappoint the teacher Right So I'd say, that's it now I'm going to tell him on tour Yeah And they'd be like They'll, they'll cop on then Yeah they'll cop on Yeah 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 on. They don't like that at all At all But um, what I come here Come here to me. Come here to my name's not Timmy at all. <laughs> You're posted a day four years off the six. Four feckin' years off the six. Do you feel unreal? I feel the healthiest I've ever been, yeah. Are you loaded? No, not at all. It's How much did you save? 35,000 35, or something. Should we drive a big Range Rover around London? No, I don't know. It's probably in signs there and Jesus God knows where that money is. Um, I do feel the healthiest I've ever been. Yeah. I'm sure I couldn't run or anything four years ago. I, went to, I didn't have this life at all. I know, yeah. She couldn't when you're smoking. Couldn't. I remember. How many would you smoke today? Oh, 30. Would you? Oh, I was flat out. 30 cigarettes. Oh, oh my remember it all. <laughs> joints. <laughs> joints. I don't like joints or anything. That carry on. No. Oh, I was never into that. No, I've never got, come down that road. So, uh, Marlboro Lights. Marlboro Gold. I remember mm. the red before and I, t- I went back into the shop, right? And I was like, these are gone off. And she was like, sorry, because these Marlboros are, because I thought Marlboro was just Marlboro. Yeah. And she, I was like, these are gone off. She said, no, because I couldn't get it. They were so strong. And oh, like, God. That box of fags yeah, gone off. Yeah. She's like, and I went to the refund. And she's like, no, so I'd keep them. But they were in the car for like years, I'd say. But yeah, 30 cigarettes. I'd get up in the morning and I'd have one. Straight away outside, it could be hail, so there could be a blizzard, mm. and you'd be outside having that cigarette. But I'd roar that cigarette then, smoking in the heat. Oh, yeah. I Although, I must say now, on the beach, my sister. Oh, yuck. Oh, there was, because they were cheap cigarettes then. Yeah. I knew the price of a cigarette in every country in the world. Yeah, I'd but they're say. disgusting. Juicy free cigarettes. I they, don't notice that at all. Oh, I thought they nah, I don't know. my stomach and everything. No, I don't know about that at all. But, um, yeah, I'm the fast, well, fastest. No, I'm the fittest I've ever been. Probably mm. the healthiest I've ever been. Do I, I still like the smell of them. Yes, I am. still like the smell of them. And hopefully I'll never go back because I know one drag, it's all over. No, saying that though, I had a smoke there a couple of months ago. I was absolutely langers drunk. I couldn't imagine you would have said that. Yeah, and one of the girls was outside like, smoking, and I still go out to the smoke room because I do think that's where the crack is. Great crack. And one of the girls was like, "Here, take a smoke." So I took a smoke. I was absolutely green the next day, yeah. and it was down to that smoke. I like hundred and ten percent. I was so sick the next day, and it was because I had that smoke. Wow. I was like, never again. But you smoked before, didn't you? Yeah, John Pierre Blue though. Were, you, were they your dads? No. My dad's He was mom. major. Was he major? No, my dad was John Pierre Blue was as well. Dad, my Blue? mom is John Pierre Blue and my brother's Benson and Hedges then. Um, yeah, they were, yeah, John Pierre Blue. And at the time, remember, you could buy 10 bucks. Yeah. 
Oh, happy fucking days. And yeah. there was a couple of shops as well around Cork. We used to call one shop, the old man shop down in Cork City, and we'd go in in our uniforms and you'd serve us. Serve us, no problem. Yeah. And I remember my mom used to write me a note, please give Julie cigarettes, please serve Julie cigarettes, I'm at home making the dinner. And up to the shop, oh. I'd go with my note, and the shopkeeper would give me the cigarettes, and I'd be around the corner smoking. And would you not give them to your mother? No. No? She wouldn't give out. Oh, sorry. So those, th- when I got the notes, yes. And then sometimes I'd forge the notes. Oh, forge. Oh, yeah, forge yeah, yeah, good yeah, note, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, not a bad. I mean, all the girls in around the corner smoking. And we used to do a thing called give us a smoke or give us a drag. Like, yeah. A drag was one puff to us. Yeah. A smoke was if I smoked three quarters of the cigarette and then I gave you the last quarter. The last bit. Yeah, the and last bit. It might bit. be all wet then. But if it was all wet, then what you do is you turn <laughs> the cigarette around <laughs> and you put put the lighting part now into your mouth and blow out. Oh, Disgusting, and this then turn back around to smoke it. I was in a situation before where we limited cigarettes and we were taking them out of a bucket and lighting the stubs. Oh, the, what are they? Not the what's it called? Butts, butts, yeah, stubs, yeah. butts. What did I say to you last night? You said fuck. But no, no, no. Shit. But yeah. they about the cyclists, the people cycling on the street. Double breast. <laughs> It's like those cyclists, I swear to God, like they're going double breasted on the street, on the, the roads. It's two abreast. Two um, abreast. Yeah, no, right. I'm delighted to be off him. I'm delighted to be off him. And like that now as well, he's go over to the shop over Centra, over to Kearney's, saying, Oh, the babysitter there, she wants um, a packet of um, bits of hedge. She never smoked at all. And I'm behind. behind. Where'd you have first cigarette? The lock. Yeah, oh, the lock would be a good one. Yeah. It collapsed. You I pulled to whitey, like, oh, yeah, on the floor white. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Oh, like, yeah, mine yeah. was behind the community centre in Bally Desmond National School. I used to wrap cigarettes as well off my mum and dad. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they wouldn't notice. Your dad wouldn't notice, I'd say, would my it? My dad used to smoke like a fucking trooper. Did your dad have the one cigarette up the other way? Do you always do that I used to look? do that. What's that about? Yeah, was my that? dad never done that. He's a kill me for doing it because yeah. he fucking just take it I out. don't know what that was about then, actually. You make a wish when you smoke that. You keep that to last and then make a wish. Is it? Yeah. God, I mean, you turn the, the cigarette one. upside down in the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. keep that last. When actually you mentioned Sean there, I oh, speaking of your houses, our houses, balling this morning. Do you know what? She, like I, Sean in the beds. Oh yeah. Now you'll have to tell this story. So Sean bought his house there a couple of months ago, and the last couple of weeks we were doing it up, and he got two single beds delivered to his spare room in the house for the twins for when he's babes and the twins. <laughs> and we went out to the range there during the week, and he says to the twins, "Pick out your duvet covers there." And they picked them out. They got matching ones. They're sausage dogs. Oh, God. Yeah, two big uppers. I'll have, to, I'll have to bring Winston to them someday because Winston's a sausage dog. That's Fionn's favourite dog. Oh, stop that, it. Oh, I'll have to bring Winston yeah, up a day. Yeah, he loves sausage dogs. Oh, my God. Yeah, so they've seen sausage dogs. Uh, there look load of little sausage dogs on the so duvet cover. So cute. Yeah, there's a lovely little duvet cover. So um, Sean bought them. Down oh, the my God. I so cute because when you told me, I joked this morning going, oh, Sean will probably have to get beds. No, is it double? Is it two rooms? Yeah. And I said, Sean probably have to get two beds. Joking, you said he did. I was nearly, I was bawling. Oh, yeah, two single How beds. How sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's very oh, good. Sean is great. And then Fionn be saying to him, this could be the boy's house now, because my house is quite yeah. girly, like. It's just yeah. myself and the twins, obviously. And Sean, or Fionn be saying, Sean, we'll have the PlayStation now. And then Fionn is mad for a game and chair, but I don't, I'm not alone. I, like, I do, just do not allow him to have PlayStation. Yeah. He's mad for a PlayStation. So Sean has a PlayStation. He's like, we'll have the PlayStation now in your house, Sean. And look at me, a gaming chair. That's so Sean has got order him a Liverpool oh game in chair. I know for do you know just a treat when yeah. he goes up to his house with the boys. Like, oh I god, I'll Sean. I know, I know. He's I know. so good. Okay, so moving on from that, we want to pick out one good thing that happened yeah. this week to both of us. Um, so Brenda, I'm gonna leave you start off. Mine would be that I got into a nice bath. <laughs> yeah. How? No, I swear to God, at one stage, and I know I'm dramatic. But there was one stage I couldn't breathe. I really couldn't breathe. I swear to God, I couldn't. I couldn't. They were how like, cold was it? Get your shoulders down. I was like, I can't breathe. Um, I don't know how cold it was, but my God, it was cold. But you know what I thought would happen to me? Do you know the way when I put my leg into water, I want to wee straight away? Yeah. Do you know, do you get like that? No. I get, do you not get that? They say your baby finger. No, what happens now if I'm getting a pedicure, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, when they're like put your legs in there I'm like oh god and I would need to go I get the urge like yeah, yeah what's okay or it's like if you're washing your feet in the bath or if you were doing something like that do you know what I mean I remember having sleepovers before and when someone fell asleep we'd put their baby finger into a glass oh of god, water we. Oh, <laughs> is yeah. that a thing yeah 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 <laughs> go do, on. You have, do you have a bidet a what bidet bidet those things you wash your bottom in why the fuck would you I just go into head washing feet and all that no there I think if you have a fancy house if you have a bidet do I bidet. look like a fancy fucking house? I know, but there were a thing before the bidet. 
speedy. Oh yeah, up in the middle they've of got a spray, when They've got a sprayer thing, no, to wash your bottom over in the Emirates. Do Emirates. that? Yeah, just clean your bottom after making whatever. <laughs> just you thinking. don't want about that like, anyways, on, I sorry. was surprised it didn't wee I thought I'd want to wee obviously yeah. the coldness of it but I stuck five minutes I could have done longer but I did my five minutes got out and went in with my half marathon medal as well but I loved it I'm not Wim Hof yet like he's your man who does all that kind of stuff but I enjoyed it would I buy one I probably would have had the space for it my brother's mad into it and the lads um, that Evan and um, Kate that I went over to they're mad into it they love to go into every night after the gym yeah, they're huge. I'm getting so popular. I couldn't do it. My nipples would fucking cut the yeah, fucking pools. Yeah, my nipples pool. were very hard Split coming out after. Yeah, I was trying yeah. to hide them. Yeah, oh, it was yeah, they're like fucking bullets. Yeah, actually, there I went for a run not so long ago. My nipples for the whole thing were hard. Were they? Everywhere I was going. And very I was, cold. I was pushing them down then. Do you know the way they get you do that? You know, I rubbed them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get I back did, into place, Nick. Do, do you know that get I home. remember watching <laughs> Ricky Lake years ago? Yeah. And they said if you rubbed your boobs, they got bigger. I was feeling myself non-stop because I've got none. Just swear to God, if you start touching them, they grow. Oh, for fuck's sake. Do you sake. not know? Or anyway, that was my win anyway. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be inside your bed next time. You're walking and I'll be at my tits. Go on. So <laughs> Go on. Oh, what are we like? Uh, so yeah, that was a good one for you. My one was myself and Brenda booked a holiday this, this yeah. week. Um, you booked your flights. I'm yet to book mine, but I'm nearly there. So yeah, it's gonna be exciting. We're gonna have a laugh. Yeah, it's you're gonna be there for a bit longer, yeah, but I'll just meet you for yeah, three nights. Summer you've never been. I, you've been a couple yeah, of times, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm really, really looking yeah. forward to this. We're gonna have a laugh. First holiday together. Can we make her break? Yeah, <laughs> true. No, at this stage, no. I say we'd be all right. Yeah, we're grand. Yeah, we're grand. We, we, know, we know each other now. Like, don't we, we do, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you calm do. me down, and I fucking mind you up. <laughs> Would you calm you down? No, you fucking wind me up. No, right wind you up, yeah. But well, you don't calm me down either. I, I do. Don't, I don't think either of us calm each other down, do we? No, we just There's go. Not. We Whereas, go. yeah. Well, yin and yang. Yeah. Yeah. So each week we'll bring a recommendation to the table for you. Things we've used or bought, activities we've done, TV series we're watching, anything at all we think you should know about. So first off, I'm actually going to recommend um, a series I watched on Netflix. It's called Dead Water Fell. Really good. And it's only four episodes. I love that. Um, really enjoy that. I watched it over two nights and I thought it was brilliant. What's so it about good. murder, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to start booking the hotel now. No, I'm going to come and wake up tonight. You're going to have a hatchet over my head. The eye mask. No, I won't know what the eye mask and the air plugs, the air plugs in. in. Jesus. Yeah. I'm go- well, I'm going to be boring and have to mention something on Netflix as well. But drive to survive. I want to get you into that. It's what's Formula One. And I know now you're like, I wouldn't be into that at all. But it's the personal side of it. Because as well, you know the way Jerry Halliwell is married to a fellow in Formula One. Mm. Christian Horner. And there's been lots of allegations that he was doing the dog. No, this is what I get. No, I think we differ on this. He's been texting another girl that worked for Red Bull, an employee, whatever. But um, I don't think anything physically went on. No, he did say that he had to um, uh, exercise himself. No, and exercise, what's the word? Look, he'd finish himself off after an encounter with her. Just over texting? Yeah, he told her. They were sexting. Like. They were sexting, but I think she was in his presence and he had to go away and pl- play with himself. What? So they were in the same room we'll together and no. he's going to the toilet? Well, we'll say he was in the room like us here. No, nothing's yeah. going to happen here now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, You'll be rubbing your boobs. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> That's to make them grow. I know, go on. I'm telling you, I'll be flat out feeling myself everywhere I go. <laughs> but, so anyway, there was messages, they were released. Now, I do believe they are probably, because there's a big massive investigation. This way you need to get into Drake survive, to survive because you get invested in it then. He's quite sexy, but he's a bit sleazy. He's my type. Look, he's sleazy and arrogant. I'm into it. So he was texting this girl and then kind of saying, like he was flirting or whatever. And then he was like, oh, can I tell you a secret? And she was like, what is it? And um, he, oh, she said, something, you had to go in and finish yourself off after meeting the last day. He was like, yeah. And she was repulsed by it. Basically, you got me so turned on, I had to go away and... Like relieve myself. So do you think that is, did is Jerry cheating? read these messages? They're, the whole world has read them. Oh fuck. Yeah, and Jerry's trying to stand by him, but I don't think physically anything happened with them. Yeah. So I'm asking you, is that cheating? Yeah. So I would be different on that then. I wouldn't say it's cheating. I know what he did now was not good. Like the texting and stuff. As far as I know, no, no physical went on. But I'd be disgusted. But I don't think it would be cheating. 
Like if you were with a fella now and he was sexting somebody else, would I'd you be stay disgusted. With him? Well, I'd be disgusted and try and get over. I'd be very hurt. I think nowadays I might be like, no, I'm not put up before. Yeah, but would have happened, and I probably would have seen it. And you said nothing. Well, I would say something. I wouldn't have gone rooting through the phones because I'd never do that. Oh, I'd root through the phone, and if I found out, he's fucking dead. Yeah, but you see, if you're rooting through the phone, you have to tell them you did it. I wouldn't care because we we're going to finish anyways. Yeah, just, yeah, I'd be horrified. To be honest, I'd be horrified. And I'd be taking pictures using my phone. Then, yeah, like, I'd have that. all that, like, and I'd yeah, have yeah, all the evidence, that. like. But no, he would be gone. gone. But have you not ever been with a man before and sent a few flirty text messages, messages some fella? No. 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 Did you? Uh, <laughs> I might have. Like, but I'd nothing would That's happen. cheating, like. Uh, they wouldn't have been like, I need to go away there and relieve myself of it. I wouldn't do anything like that. I wouldn't be playing you, with you my wouldn't boobs be, you, you wouldn't be sending pictures of you playing with your boobs, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to make them grow here. Yeah, I was taking tablets and everything to make the boobs grow before. Bought uh, them sure. online. Yeah, they're in town as well, or tan developer tablets and all that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But did you see the ones for the boobs before, no? I don't think I've ever seen the boobs. No, I was taking. Yeah, it was flat out pink bottle they were. <laughs> Come yeah, probably coming from I don't know Nigeria or somewhere. I was gobbling them back <laughs> like they were Harry, but yeah. So I mean, yeah, Drive to Survive. It's actually so good. It's also on Netflix, and it's just very. And there's a lot of sexy men in it. How many episodes is there? It's around eight. You'd have to, you'll get invested. I bet you even Katie Jane here likes it. Toto Wolf. He's another had a big long torso. Austrian, very sexy. Is he? Yeah, there's a lot of nice men in it. I probably just watch it playing my boobs. <laughs> I'm going to have double D's the next time you see me. Oh, I'll actually be booking an extra seat for him. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> oh, stop oh, Christ. Christ. Right. right. So as you're all aware, we do a quiz, a very popular quiz. I know you all love it um, on the podcast. And I titled it, um, Are You Smarter Than Your Six-Year-Olds? A mock on I swear they're ten year olds. But you know what? The twins are gonna be growing each year mm. and I can't be changing to seven year olds, eight year olds, ten year olds, twenty year olds. So I've changed it to wait for it. What? Haynes's brains. Haynes's brains. Beautiful brains. <laughs> Haynes's brains. brains. So we have a very special quiz today because we are in on air, in care. I love saying that. And it's a Tipperary themed one. Here we go. Question number one. County Tipperary was divided into two administrative areas. What are these areas called? Care and Cashel. <laughs> North Tipperary and South Tipperary is the answer. Okay. Okay. Question number two. Bit of a left of field question. What village in County Tipperary did former American President Ronald Reagan's ancestors come from? Cashel. <laughs> Who's in Cashel? You seen someone in Cashel? I know McDonald's is in Cashel. Grand McDonald's there, isn't there? Grand Circle, okay. Ballyporeen, answers Ballyporeen, okay. You're surely going to know this one, okay. Number three. What is the Irish name for County Tipperary? Tipperon. <laughs> <laughs> Counta. Is it Counta? Counta. Whatever. Look. Tubrid are on. I was close. Am I Hubrid are on? She didn't even know it. Oh, I'm saying it in a different way. Listen, I live in London now, okay? But she didn't even the, I laugh, speak not me. I didn't even know. Okay, so Care Castle, one of Ireland's largest cost castles, which is only around the road, is located by which river in Tipperary? What does it begin with? It, there's no cues here, girl. It's not the Lee, it's not the Liffey, it's the River Shore. Yes! Yes! <laughs> one out of four, Yes! Okay, question number five. What is Tarlis the birthplace of? Kids. <laughs> the birthplace, like, I don't know, like, the hurling. The GA. Yeah. No, you said kids first, so that's one out of five, okay? Question six. Tipperary is famous for the production of what? The two Johnnies. Is that good? <laughs> <laughs> close, close, Crystal. All right, oh, yeah. we do actually have a two Johnnies question, all right? Okay. Oh, as you are in their studio. Okay, you have to get this one right. As we are at the home of the two Johnnies. What is Johnny B and Johnny Smack's surnames? Johnny Brogan. Brennigan? No. Bur- B. Buckley. No. You've only won. You've only won. It's Johnny O'Brien. Oh, yeah. Where, why didn't he put in O? Look, can't Johnny O and B doesn't sound right. And then the other, Johnny? 
Is we getting with S? I'm not giving you no clues. Come on. Snacks. Schmeichel. <sighs> you playing for Man United? <laughs> Johnny, no, Johnny O'Shea. Johnny McMahon. Right, so that's, I think that's one out of seven. Look, you got the River Shore. Okay, this one, no. This one, no. I, this one, okay. Spell care. C. Ah. Uh, uh, I got two letters mixed up during the week. C. Ah. Uh, you practice it during the week. Ah, uh, R. E, R. C, A, H. E, R. C, A, H. I was going to say E, R. C A H I R. Oh, the Americans would say Kahir. Kahir. They would say gonna Kahir. Right, okay. That's the Irish or chair. Kahir. Kahir, isn't it? Kahir, isn't it? Kahir. Yes, Kahir. 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 <laughs> Question number nine. You've won so far out of uh, nine, one, eight. And which town in County Tipperary is the fettered horse country experience? What? In which town in Tipperary is the Fetherd horse country experience? Fetherd. Good woman. Yeah. yeah. Got to put that in as least, okay? So this is just a trick one then, okay? This okay. is just the last. So two out of nine. See if now you can get three out of ten. Why did the chicken cross the road in Tipperary? To get to Cork. No, it's a, to say it's a long way to Tipperary. Oh, jeez. I just, just had to put that one in. Did you make that up yourself? No, I actually found it on ChatGPT. <laughs> On what? Chat, chat, TV. Chat, GPT. That's like my new best oh, friend. Yeah, yeah. Me and chat, GPT, girl. Oh, my God. Don't talk to me. Best of feckin' pals. Oh. Love him. Yeah, so you got two out of ten. Was it two out of ten? Two out of That's ten. That's not bad for Tipperary team. That's, yeah, sorry. Right. That's good, yeah, like. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. And before we wrap things up, we'll leave you with a motivational quote to take with you into the week ahead. Julie, what's yours? Why do they call it rush hour when nothing moves? <laughs> no, is this a riddle or a saying? I won't be going to you for any life coaching. I just saw that very good. That's, that's a dr- riddle. Who's going to look? Someone maybe the pits of depression and they're listening to this. Come on. <laughs> do not take life too seriously. You will never get out of it alive. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. That's better. That's better. And then I suppose my one is my only regret is I didn't tell enough people to fuck off. Very good. Isn't it? That's that's the truth. Yeah. I see that going on. And I'm trying not to swear, but I had to use the F-U one there. No, you could have said feck, but I know. It's it doesn't fact. sound as passionate. Yeah, no, it doesn't. I am trying with the feck, aren't I? Feck it, I yeah. really am fecking. That's fecking it now for this week. Fuck all. Fuck all. Yeah. We'll see you fecking next week. Feck all. Fecking off. great to be back. <laughs> fecking is. Feck everywhere. <laughs> Bye. Bye.